Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for July 16th, read by Sarah N. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. AA thoughts for the day. Selfishness. So our troubles, we think, are basically of our own making. They arise out of ourselves, and the alcoholic is an extreme example of self-will run riot, though he doesn't usually think so. Above everything, we alcoholics must be rid of this selfishness. We must or it kills us. God makes that possible. We had to have God's help. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 62. Thought to consider, the smallest package in the world is an alcoholic, all wrapped up in himself. AA acronyms, pride, pretty ridiculous individual directing everything. Just for today, peace of mind from freedom from bondage. AA has taught me that I will have peace of mind in exact proportion to the peace of mind I bring into the lives of other people. And it has taught me the true meaning of the admonition, Happy are ye who know these things and do them. For the only problems I have now are those I create when I break out in a rash of self-will. 2001 AAWS Inc. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 550 to 551. Daily Reflections, a Measure of Humility. In every case, Pain had been the price of admission into a new life, but this admission price had purchased more than we expected. It brought a measure of humility, which we soon discovered to be a healer of pain. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, page 75. It was painful to give up trying to control my life, even though success eluded me, and when life got too rough, I drank to escape. Accepting life on life's terms will be mastered through the humility I experience when I turn my will and my life over to the care of God as I understand Him. With my life in God's care, fear, uncertainty, and anger are no longer my response to those portions of life I would rather not have happen to me. The pain of living through these times will be healed by the knowledge that I have received the spiritual strength to survive. As Bill sees it, where rationalizing leads. You know what our genius for rationalization is. If, to ourselves, we fully justify one slip, then our rationalizing propensities are almost sure to justify another one, perhaps with a different set of excuses. But one justification leads to another, and presently we are back on the bottle full time. Experience shows all too often that even the controlled pill-taker may get out of control. The same crazy rationalizations that once characterized his drinking begin to blight his existence. He thinks that if pills can cure insomnia, so may they cure his worry. Our friends, the doctors, are seldom directly to blame for the dire results we so often experience. It is much too easy for alcoholics to buy these dangerous drugs, and once possessed of them, the drinker is often likely to use them without any judgment whatever. It's from a letter, 1959, and the grapevine, November, 1945. Big book quote. One of the many doctors who had the opportunity of reading this book in manuscript form told us that the use of sweets was often helpful, of course, depending upon a doctor's advice. He thought all alcoholics should constantly have chocolate available for its quick energy value at times of fatigue. He added that occasionally in the night, a vague craving arose, which would be satisfied by candy. Many of us have noticed a tendency to eat sweets and have found this practice beneficial. Alcoholics Anonymous, The Family Afterward, page 133. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. We can believe that God is in his heaven and that he has a purpose for our lives, which will eventually work out 
as long as we try to live the way he believes he wants us to live. It has been said that we should wear the world like a loose garment. That means nothing should seriously upset us because we have a deep abiding faith that God will always take care of us. To us, that means not to be too upset by the surface wrongness of these things, but to feel deeply secure in the fundamental goodness and purpose in the universe. Do I feel deeply secure? Meditation for the day. Like the shadow of a great rock in a desert land, God is your refuge from the ills of life. The old hymn says, Rock of ages, cleft for me, let me hide myself in thee. God can be your shelter from the storm. God's power can protect you from every temptation and defeat. Try to feel his divine power. Call on it, accept it, and use it. Armed with that power, you can face anything. Each day, seek safety in God's secret place in communion with him. You cannot be wholly touched or seriously harmed there. God can be your refuge. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may find a haven in the thought of God. I pray that I may abide in that strong tower, strongly guarded. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Sarah, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.